Welcome to another video. This is Jim Fair with Mac Related Things. Mac Related Things at gmail.com. So here's an updated version of my video on how to completely reset your Apple Silicon Mac. So to begin with, you need to have a backup. So if you're using Apple's Time Machine, make sure your Time Machine backup is up to date. I highly recommend having two backups just in case. Drive failure can ruin your whole day. If you only have one backup, uh, means your data only exists in one place in the entire world once this machine's erased. If that drive should fail or, you know, heaven forbid, drop it or something, that can ruin your day. So I do recommend having two backups. I have multiple backups. Myself, I'm using backblaze.com for backup as well as I have a local backup I've created using Carbon Copy Cloner, which is a piece of software I highly recommend. Or if you don't want to spend the money on Carbon Copy Cloner, you can get Super Duper with an exclamation mark at the end. A little bit of pre-work before you erase your Mac, I highly recommend two things. If you have Touch ID, go into your Touch ID system preference pane and delete your fingerprint. That way, uh, it's never going to run out of space. And so, you know, I don't know if it has this issue, the new uh, Apple Silicon Macs. I know the Intel Macs have an issue. If you add fingerprints and wipe the machine without deleting them, eventually you get an error message saying fingerprint ID limit reached. Again, I'm not sure if that happens on the Apple Silicon Mac, but I'm not taking any chances. The other thing I recommend, you go into your Apple ID, if you use Apple ID and iCloud, and make sure Find My Mac is turned off. Otherwise, you'd be entering passwords when you're trying to erase your Mac and set it up. And especially if the password is only stored on the Mac, you won't be able to refer to it when your Mac is erased. Right, so you'd have to have all this stuff memorized or written down somewhere, and that can be a problem. So, make sure Find My Mac is off. If you're using it, you're temporarily turning it off. If you're not using it, that's fine. Click on the overview under Apple ID and sign out. And if it says, hey, do you want to keep a copy of things? You say keep a copy, because we're erasing the Mac, it doesn't matter. We don't want to spend time deleting anything when the whole system is going to get erased anyway. So with that, we're ready to erase our Mac. We simply have to go Apple menu and shut down and shut down. So now once the machine is completely down, we're going to start it up holding down the power key longer than normal. So you hold the power button down and keep holding it the machine will start up you keep holding it it says continue holding for startup options when that message changes to loading startup options you can let go because if you hold it too long you're going to power down and then we have this graphical user interface we click on options and continue and then we're going to be in recovery mode all right, and uh, because I have File Vault turned on, it's saying, you know, I can't unlock the drive and unless you know a password of somebody on there, and then my account's called admin. So I'm going to enter that password that I just did before, and whatever that would be, and voila. So we're going to go Disk Utility. Click on the View button in Disk Utility and select Show All Devices. Then highlight your internal solid state drive and click Erase. And you can just leave it untitled. It's not actually going to let us erase it. Click the Erase button. And this is where we get intercepted here. So it says Erase Mac to erase or delete these volumes, plural, you will need to fully erase this Mac. This will delete all media, data, and settings on all volumes on this Mac. An internet connection will be required to reactivate this Mac 
and reinstall Mac OS. Okay, so keep in mind you need an internet connection. It could be Wi Fi, it could be Ethernet. I have Ethernet here. We click erase and it says erase Mac and restart. Are you sure you want to do this? All media data settings, etc., will be deleted. This cannot be undone. So, this is the point of no return. So, again, disk utility isn't going to do the erasure. Some piece of software behind the scenes here in recovery mode is going to do it because Apple Silicon is special, right? So, but if you do it this way, you don't have any issues. Everything's going to work. So we click erase. It's erasing the Mac and it's going to reboot into recovery mode and let us reinstall the OS. This will take several seconds, maybe even a few minutes. So the screen's gone black. We've got the Apple menu. Briefly, the not Apple menu, Apple logo. It interrupted the chime, which is interesting. Apple products are sometimes a work in progress. And then we have a progress bar crawling along. I don't think you can see that. Okay, and now it wants to pair to our keyboard and mouse. So I've got this uh, cable here that came with the uh, Mac. It's a lightning cable. So it's USB-C to lightning. I reach around the back and plug it in. And then I highlight, uh, plug this into the keyboard. So it's pairing the keyboard. And then I plug it into the mouse. So it pairs the mouse. That's how you pair things now. You don't do anything different. And then we're in the Mac activation page. Okay. So activation is largely a rubber stamp as far as I can tell. Unless you left Find My Mac turned on, then it was probably going to demand your Apple ID and password to activate. But uh, I've never seen it do that because I always have that off. It says your Mac is activated. Exit to recovery utilities. So I click exit. And here we are again in recovery utilities. Now before we run the reinstall Big Sur, we're going to double click on disk utility and you can see here it's left our volume as untitled. So click on the volume, double click on the name to select it and rename it the traditional Macintosh HD and hit return and you can exit disk utility and double click reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. And go continue. And then the software license agreement. Agree, agree. Macintosh HD is our target. Continue. And off it goes. I love how it estimates three hours and zero minutes. So this will take it quite some time, depending on the speed of your internet connection. I'm going to stop the video here and start it up when it's finished. Oh, it's asking me to pick a language. So we're going to go, oh yeah. So we're in Apple setup. I'll pick a country. For accessibility, I'm going to say not now. Continue. Now, if you were uh, restoring from Time Machine, you would do that here or transferring from a Windows PC. I'm not going to do that. My backup was with Carbon Copy Cloner. If you use uh, Apple's iCloud a lot, uh, you might want to sign in here. I do not, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to skip that step. Agree to the terms and conditions that nobody reads. Create your account. I'm just going to put in a simple password like Apple. And just Find a more interesting icon. I like the Earth from space. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm going to customize, continue. Don't need location services. I know where I am, and it's right about there on the map, Toronto. 
I'm not going to share analytics at this time. I can turn it on later. I'm going to not use screen time. And no thank you, Siri. Don't need to talk to you. Uh, and I kind of like automatic, so you go into night mode at night and daytime mode in the daytime. And I don't like true tone because that affects white balance and I'm a photographer. Continue. And voila, we are back at the finder. So that's basically how we reset uh, an Apple Silicon Mac without doing anything special.